What's up, Internet? My name is Ian Bloom. Welcome to Nerd Finance. I'm your resident financial life planner and huge nerd. <laughs> Today, we're going to be covering capital appreciation and capital gains. Quick disclaimer before we dive in, I am not a tax professional, which means that if you need specific tax advice, please make sure to reach out to somebody. That said, capital appreciation we covered in our last video is the act of an investment going up and being sold. The capital gains that result from that are part of the IRS tax code, so it's basically how much the IRS is going to tax you, and there are different rates depending on how long you have the investment for. Long-term capital gains result if you hold the investment for over one year and then sell it. And long-term capital gains have an incentivized tax rate that's lower than your actual tax bracket. Short-term capital gains result if you have the investment for less than a year, and they are taxed at exactly your regular tax bracket. So let's look at an example for the difference between the two of these. We're going to pull on our nickel bullish trading card from the last video. The difference is capital gains don't necessarily apply to collectibles, but I wanted to have a placeholder to talk about it with. So let's say our trading card here is worth $100, and it represents any investment that we bought at $50. If we sell it at that $50 profit that we have, and we've had the investment for more than a year, we'll use the 15% capital gains rate as our tax rate. And that means that we owe $7.50 in taxes. Simple math, right? Well. On the other side of the fence, if we sell it after having it for less than a year, we owe $12 in taxes because we're paying our increased regular income tax rate. That $4.50 doesn't seem like a lot on a small profit like $50, but if you extrapolate that out to the same rate against 100 of those investments, you lose $450 to the IRS on your capital gains. So. Long-term capital gains, all things being equal, are the better deal. So all that being said, if you still have questions or you want somebody to sit down and look at your financial situation with, with you, please feel free to check out my website. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have a wonderful day.